the final for our amateur portion of the competition, and then we are heading into our pro. So, here we go, guys. This is our final. He's all the way away from the lovely town of Walkerton. <laughs> Started flashing. I think that's bad. I don't know a lot about those things in my jiggy so. Then I thought I could fix the problem myself if I look under the hood. So there for half a day tinkering around, trying to figure out how to open up the hood. <laughs> then I had to take it into a garage, have a mechanic look at it. Anyways, long story short, I have a heroin problem. <laughs> That explained everything. <laughs> Turns out the engine light wasn't on. <laughs> wasn't even in my car. <laughs> Just hallucinating. Thank God. What a relief. Do you ever do that though? Do you ever think of a big problem like that? Turns out it's nothing, just a heroin problem. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> I drove here tonight. It never ceases to amaze me when I'm out driving. All the dangerous drivers I see when I happen to look up and send any text messages. I see so many. Like this one time, driving along, minding my own business, now to know where this moron, speed demon, gets right up my ass. It's bumper to bumper. Of course, he can't pass because the oncoming lane's too busy, so he starts honking, throwing his arms, flashing his lights. I thought, boy, what a jerk. Who let this guy drive an ambulance? <laughs> an asshole. It's true, we say every time we back into our driveways, we put our lives at risk because of all these moron and clueless, dangerous drivers out there. No, I don't mean just women. That's not fair. Don't want to just signal them out. It's Chinese people too. I don't know where my red hair comes from. People always seem to want to know. They always seem fascinated for some reason before they kick me. Some people think having red hair is a curse. I'm here to tell you that it is. <laughs> get made fun of, get persecuted. Parents don't go to your school recitals. <laughs> or they lie in family fortress. <laughs> Drop you up at landfills and leave you there. <laughs> of course, my brother, he didn't have red hair, so he got all the perks. He got to ride up front. He got to sleep in the house. Just, <laughs> bad time to have red hair. Last year the world's biggest sperm bank stopped taking donations from redheads. No one wants a red hair baby anymore. I told my mom that she said, well duh. <laughs> I told you that. There is one good thing about having red hair though. Uh, we don't get rickets. Because our fair skin attracts the sunlight so we get lots of vitamin D that way so we have a low rickets rate. <laughs> It was a long way on the harmony profile. <laughs> Shut up, it's something. Uh, trying to be more healthier, I went to my doctor. He said I'm eating too much sugar, so I'm trying to cut sugar out of my diet. It's hard when I think about it. Sugar's in everything. Fruit has sugar in it, so I can't eat that. That's bad. Cigarettes have sugar in it, too. I thought, great, now smoking's bad for me. <laughs> was it before? <laughs> We're unhealthy today. I remember my grandma, she said she used to walk 20 miles every day when she was a kid. I just think, wow, today is so different. Now when I tell her to walk just 10 miles to the store to get me something, she won't even get up. <laughs> That's how lazy we become. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding though. My grandma, she just turned 80, so she doesn't get out anymore like she used to. It's sad. She brought on herself. She's in prison, so. <laughs> Just got my wisdom tube taken out. Well, I trust my dentist. You know, I do everything he says. I put the bib on, I take my pants off. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Actually, I have two dentists. I want to go to get a cleaning only, just so I can impress my regular dentist. Uh, you know, you can't please that son of a bitch. How often are you flossing? Once a year and I'm here and you do it for me? 
Is that enough? Fuck you. All right, thanks. That's my time. I appreciate it. I was fun. Thanks.